Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to Paul Plays Minecraft. Kuzco and I are just uh, exploring a little bit more of this ravine and gathering up supplies, searching around, and lo and behold, ta da! Emeralds! That is lovely. Two together, which is pretty rare, in fact. Oh, and a bug block. <laughs> Hi ya! All right, didn't die on the first strike. Let's see if there's any more. This one might be one right here. Now, that's interesting. Okay, let's grab these guys. I'm going to use the diamond fortune. Yeah, got three out of it. Nice. All right, so um, we've been exploring now for about 15 minutes in here. We've got plenty of lapis, lots of coal, a little more redstone, and now those three emeralds. So I wasn't going to record all this, but when I found the emeralds, I thought it might be worth at least showing you guys that. So let me, uh, let's shut the camera off now, for now. There's really um, nothing else I want to do right now except for gather a little bit more, explore some. And then if I find something really interesting... Or something happens, I may want you to see. <laughs> I'll be right back, so stay tuned. Okay, look, more emeralds and spidery webs. So that's just more of the uh, mine shaft. Looks like this one's all by himself. Let's see if we can get two out of it. No, that's a bummer. Strike. Ah, here's some gold. I have not found any more diamonds yet. So, anyway, yeah, welcome back. Paul plays Minecraft. <laughs> like I said, I wasn't quite ready to record yet. I wanted to go over my notes to see what I wanted to talk about in this episode. I did take some screenshots with comments in the last episode. And that's typically what I do. Grab a few comments, talk about those. And maybe anything else has happened to me interesting over the uh, last couple of days. I was actually recording Minecraft. Today is Friday, and I'm trying to keep it to my schedule. And Friday is Minecraft day, and I got a fairly full episode, but uh, we had some trouble with some lag. And I got stuck in the nether. There's something going on with the server, so we're just waiting for good to restart it. And then I figured I would just go ahead and load this up real quickly and get some work done off camera. And I realized I could be using my diamond pick for this to get potentially extra coal, but um, I've got plenty. I'm not too concerned about the coal. I would rather preserve the diamond. For other resources. More over here. All right, quick look at my notes and see what's there. Hang on. All right, yeah, I did take a couple of screenshots of some uh, some of the comments. One being, um, remember the last episode, somebody upstairs was making some noise, and I had to stop and go up and find out what it was. It was, I thought it was Jumbo banging on his drums, but it turned out to be Remy playing. She had a cup. And she was flipping it around and clapping. And it meant absolutely nothing to me. At the time, it looked like we do have some kind of... She has a cup game. Oh, dude. See you. And I thought, oh, look, more emeralds. Nice. And I thought maybe that was part of that. But it turns out to be something from a movie called Pitch Perfect. So someone put in the comments, they said, uh, was Remy playing the cup song? So I, I asked her and she said, yes, exactly right. So... <laughs> Good on you. Actually, a lot of people had uh, mentioned that. So apparently, I'm... I guess I'm out of the loop when it comes to movies right now. Or at least movies aimed at uh, teens, maybe? Oh, hey, Diamond, what's up? What you doing behind, behind that coat? Hmm? Whoa. All right. This is a job for Super Pig. Ready? Extras. Oh, I got two out of that. You see that? Nice. 
Now, I know there's a skelly down there. We're going to hold off on him. Uh, that was just one and four. All right. And once again, I don't need a gazillion redstone either. I hardly ever use it. Should I just go down and take him out? Cusco? Now, let me look over here first before I bring Cusco over. A lot of lava here. Quite an extensive cave, in fact. Alright, let's do this. Not a fan. And, whoa! Alright, that's gonna have to be careful over here. Get rid of some of this. Or pretty much all of it. Except for that corner. That'll do. Oh, look, more emeralds. This is nice. These emeralds are going to come in handy. Once I repopulate Vinville. <laughs> so I think maybe what we'll do is do a little more gathering down here. Let me grab the cat now. It should be safe. And then uh, I think we'll head back. Take all our, our well, it's not ill-gotten gain. This is uh, it's loot that I earned right here. All the goodies, diamonds, emeralds, etc. Take it all back. We'll count it up. See what the total tally is. I don't think I need the axe right here right now. And let's. See. Cross your fingers. I think that was one, right? Okay, so one of the other comments, while I just grab this stuff here. Um, hold on, wake up, Mac. Let's see. Bring splash potions for your cats of uh, fire resistance to cover your cats and make them fire resistant. Yeah, I could do that. Um, I don't really have very many splash potions of fire resistance. I only really have the one, and it's not a splash. But if I think of it, and I have the resources, then I might just do that. When I'm working down here by the lava. How much coal do I have? I can grab more. Might as well grab it while we're here. And I will put, uh, I'll put the, the screenshots up here so you guys can see the names of the folks that have put these messages down. Give them little shouts out. Uh-huh. Enderman here somewhere. Yeah, so go ahead and you can put stuff in the comments, ask me questions or comment or whatever, you know, feedback on the show. And uh, if I find it useful, if there's something might want to talk about then you might get a little shout out so feel free let me just grab this last oh man and let's see there's another one here a uh, couple of questions in fact cat you're not moving are you no just shuffling your feet oh uh, yeah one one question here is um this is a ask me anything sort of thing. Whoa, get out of there, get out of there. It's coming down. It's coming down, it's coming down. No? Okay. Let's get out of here. It is. Does it, does it, is it weird talking to yourself? Does it feel weird when you talk to yourself? When you're recording, uh, when you're making videos? Yeah, yeah, it is. Actually, it's not so much as it used to be. But at one time, I remember starting out, <clears throat> excuse me, and if you go back and listen to some of my earlier, you know, like the first tutorial and stuff, it's it's kind of funny. <laughs> um, because I was very quiet, very subdued, uh, rather monotone, in fact. And I, I do recall sitting here recording that, and yeah, it, it was... It's a little off-putting. It's like, all right, make sh first of all, make sure no one's listening to me because I don't want anybody to hear me and think I'm nuts. Whoa. Oh, no. You just shot my cat. One shot. It's going to be a magic bow. 
Are you dirty dog? Nope, that was just a full drop. Oh my god. Oh, Cusco Junior! It looks like we're going to be on Cusco 3 coming up. Cusco the third. Well, fire resistance will help much <laughs> in that respect, would it? This guy mad. Could use an ender pearl. Oh man, there goes my kitty. There goes my kitty. Well, I didn't kill it this time. I wasn't responsible. I didn't drown. I wasn't negligent. It just took an arrow for me. That's what a good cat should do. Oh, man. That's kind of a bummer. Now, now I gotta get out of here because now I just feel alone. All right, let's get out of here. I'm going to grab all this stuff. We'll get back up to the surface, and we'll talk a little bit more about that question on our way back. And then a couple of other things I wanted to talk about. Um, namely, Man vs. Minecraft. Day 14, the grand finale, which I have an awesome idea for. And uh, also, maybe a little Tale of Kingdoms, which is also coming to an end. But I have another awesome idea for... Uh, a new, a couple of new mods, a whole new roleplay, silly roleplay series. And I'll give you some hints here. We'll talk about that in a second. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, well, this is where Cusco Jr. fell in battle. And I think it would be appropriate then to at least honor his memory. And, of course, that eye is going to be right in the way, isn't it? with a headstone. So I believe it was shot right around here, right? Let's get rid of this. Don't need that there. And we'll put it right here. I think this is where he took the arrow. Poor cat. Cusco. All right, so Cusco, here lies Cusco. Here lies Cusco Jr. Killed. KIA killed in action on January 25th. Is it 25th? Yeah. January 25th, 2013. Rest in peace, little Cusco. Rest in peace. I don't need that. Yo, dirty dog. You defile. The resting place of my kitty cat. With your foul presence. <sighs> Grr. Oh, I should probably... I, I need to get rid of some stuff. <laughs> I can't carry all this, so... Uh, this will be the grave, and I think what I'm going to do is... Just bury... Um, I'm going to send Cusco on his way with a little fish. How about that? I think that, I think that would be good. Nope. There we go. Perfect. Inventory management. Bane of my existence. Okay. Let me just close this off a little too. Rest in peace, Cusco. You will be remembered forever. Okay. Let's head back. And go get something done. Hang tight. Whoa, hello. I decided to come down into this little mine shaft. This is the one uh, just... Just around the corner from Cusco's um, headstone. And look what's down here. Diamonds. Take them. Wow. Nice haul. Nice haul. Ooh, two out of that one. Eight more diamonds. Add them to the list. Add them to the list of goodies. And uh, I don't really need any more coal. Got coal coming out of my ears. Oh, you know what? I haven't been down here yet. Okay. <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> All right, now for real, let's get out of here. Oh, look. Huh. More emeralds. Oh, and gold too. And a, a diamond. Oh my gosh. Hey, this is the uh, this is the one back at the beginning. This is one of the tunnels back at the start. Remember we came through here? 
base is right over there. And I was like, oh, check out those lovely colors. Well, guess what? Right on the other side of this, we have even more colors. I've never seen anything quite like that. The green here. We've got gold, red. The diamond. Unbelievable. Oh, man. This is a, an unbelievable spot. Very impressive. Very impressive. This mine shaft. Hey, I wonder if that's uh, mini spiders. The little poison guys. Because if it is, there might be a chest over here of some magic. Oh, it is. All right. So they must have a chest back here. Let's. I really want to find a magic book. Oh, there's the there's the nest. Ah. I'm gonna kill all these bums. Uh oh, uh oh, my sword. No. Dang it. All right, all right, all right. Oh, come on now. Whoa! How long is this poison going to last? Come on! I'm, I'm ruining my sword by doing that, you know. Did you happen to see that? I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna have to go make another quick sword. Let's go finish him off, shall we? Show him who's boss. Oh my gosh, I can't even carry all the goodies from this place. I need a pack mule. You need like pack mules and saddlebags. Ah, die. All right, here we go. Get rid of that, cut right through. And good riddance. Oh, hey, get off me. Get off me, you little bug. Is there any more? Got all of them. No chest. Hey, what a ripoff. The only reason I'm here, I'm only here for the free food. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, it's probably, it's got to be around here somewhere. The consolation prize is uh, more redstone, which I don't need at all. Some more iron. Okay, I'm going to gather up the rest of these resources. And then I'm going to get packed up to go. And uh, we'll head back home to Macho Pikachu and go through all the goodies. It'll be like Halloween where you dump out your bag of candy and sort it all and Get prepared to eat it. All right, I'll be right back. Uh, tis the thing of beauty, isn't it? Four ovens cranking away here. Um, let's take a look. So every one of these has a half a stack of iron. I've also got some iron that I've already smelted. I've got a little bit of ore that I haven't even gotten to yet. But I think what I'm going to do is just let that cook, and I'm going to get out of here. So I'm pretty well full. We've got all the gold smelted. 17 diamonds total. In this trip, 10 emeralds. Um, the rail, 31 pieces. Obviously, a bunch of redstone. I'm going to leave some of this behind. I can't carry it all, so I'm going to bring a little lapis, a little redstone. The melon seeds and pumpkin seeds are awesome, so I can get some farms going, and the mushrooms. But I think, um, yeah, I think that's everything. I think that's everything I'm going to carry out. So, let's go. Unfortunately, I do not have a cat anymore, so... Oh, man, how am I going to explain this to the dogs? Another one bites the dust, but that's all right. We'll go fetch another. There's plenty of cats in the jungle, I think. Actually, maybe there aren't. I'm going to have to do some breeding. Aren't I? We'll breed the ocelots. So I'll have more to... More cats to... Um, be, I can uh, domesticate in the event I lose any more. <laughs> I'm having very good luck with the cats. The sound is screwy, isn't it? Guys, Maya, Yukon, I've got some bad news. Take a walk with me, will you? All right, here we go. Um, south it was, right? Wait a minute. What the? Did I not put out any torches? Yeah, there's a torch, right? Okay. Um, anyway, so I wanted to talk about Man vs. Minecraft Day 14. That's the Season 4 finale. And that's... Uh, hoping to get it done this week but today's Friday I don't think I'm gonna get to it 
Um, just, just ran out of time. And I'm trying to... I want to make it a good one. I want to make it a good finale. I usually spend a little more time on the finales and the, and the premieres than I do for the regular episodes. And even the regular episodes in between take some time. So I want to make it good. I have an idea to make it fun. It's going to be... Uh, <laughs> going to be uh i think i think it's going to be well accepted one thing that i hate to do to you but it's going to be kind of a major cliffhanger at the end for season five but i hope to get season five going right away there won't be too much delay between the two seasons with luck and i have something all planned out for that so hopefully i can record that within uh, the next few days and uh, Tale of Kingdoms. Tale of Kingdoms. That mod is pretty well complete. I think I've built everything I could possibly build in Tale of Kingdoms. Got my kingdom. King Punchwood is a king, an emperor, etc. Got lots of friends. And I think his life is pretty well complete. Peace in the Kingdom. And if you don't watch that, then you should because it's hilarious. It's one of my favorite shows to record. There we go. Back in town. Check on the Vinster. Someone's been here. There's the man. How's it going, buddy? Hey, we can trade now, dude. Oh, you just want raw beef for emeralds. Well, heck. Well, heck, I cooked all my beef. All right, I need to remember that. Someone write that down. <laughs> the comments to remind me. Get some raw beef. There's a piece of beef right there on four legs still, but we can we can cure that problem. So Tale of Kingdoms is going to be another... Well, it's going to end. We have peace and prosperity in the kingdom, and we're going to have to do a farewell. I've got a big party plan with everybody, all the characters that I've developed over the... I, wow, how long have I been playing that? A year? And um, once we do that... I have a new, a couple of new mods I'm looking at right now that are going to be just as fun. Now uh, there'll be lots of NPCs and monsters, so villains and friends and all that jazz, and we'll do the whole silly roleplay stuff. But I might have an entirely different character instead of King Punchwood. You guys made it! All right, guard the door with your life. Come on in, Maya. Come. Come. Heal. Good girl. You guys can spend the night in the house tonight. I know. We will mourn the loss of Cusco Jr. Indeed. So I'm just going to put everything away now. And then uh, we'll figure out what next to do. Probably a pumpkin in a melon, uh, melon farm or something. And I want to start getting a rail going. I've got lots of diamonds to think about what we want to do with that. Iron Golem here. I've got tons and tons of iron. So lots of possibilities. And um, we'll hash through all those possibilities here shortly. So stay tuned. Don't go away. Okay. So all the goodies have been put away in its proper place. And it looks like the rain is out. This might be a good time to go out and do some fishing. So I can catch another cat. Tame another cat, rather. And um, might even breed a couple of ocelots if I can find them. But before we do that, I need a new bed and we need to sleep. And I'm just going to put it right here for now because um, I don't really have anywhere else to put it. Now if I sleep, it's going to be morning, which is fine. I want to reset my spawn. And I hope the rain doesn't stop. I think the fishing is honestly better in the rain. I know that's been a theory for a while. I don't know if there's any truth to it. And yeah, in real life, for sure. I don't know how safe it is out here right now, though. So I will leave you with a couple of final thoughts here about the um, the whole, is it uh, weird talking to yourself? Something's walking around. Maybe it's just the squiddies. Because I think we have a full episode here. Yeah, I put the dogs out because they're so noisy. Um, yes, it is a little weird, as I said. And if it's something... Yeah, let's go to the gazebo down here. The gazebo. It's not the gazebo. This is the um, the cabana, right? I should make a gazebo though. We'll fish right from here. Um, yeah, it's definitely uh, it's definitely a little weird talking to yourself. Um, 
I was very self-conscious about it. And if you're going to do this, if you're thinking about making videos and you're feeling a little weird about it too, don't worry about it because it's just, it's a natural feeling. Here's what I do. I just pretend, at least now after I've learned, I just pretend that there's somebody behind me, that there's a, a group of friends, maybe a couple people that I know really well that I'm comfortable with. And then I'm just playing this game and having a discussion with them about the game and showing them how to play or just sharing my thoughts and telling stories. Good friends. People that wouldn't laugh at you <laughs> for playing video games or doing dumb things because uh, you will definitely do some dumb things. And you should be able to laugh at yourself anyway because in the end, this is just a video game and we do this for entertainment to entertain ourselves and people that want to watch the videos. So, um, yeah, you can be a little shy at first, but uh, with practice, you'll get over it. And like I said, when I look back at my old videos, it's uh, it, there's an amazing difference between when I started out and now. Uh, I'm just a lot more confident. I speak more clearly, I think. It's a little more, well, a little less monotone. Put a little uh, inflection here and there, and I'm still not a professional, but you do learn some things over time. Anyway, I thought that was a good question, and uh, well, I'm just gonna catch a few more fish because I want to breed some cats. And hopefully get another Cusco. Cusco 3? Yeah, we're up to 3 now. Crazy. Oh, I have to put a headstone over here too or I lost Cusco 1. <laughs> I'll do that hopefully before next time. Oh, I um, wasn't looking. I was looking down at the clock. All right. I'm out of here, guys and gals. Whoa. And I'm in your face or you're in my head. And we'll see you next time. All right. Take care. Have a good day. Oh, man. Okay. Looks like we hit the lair, boy. Just watch out when you jump. I got him, I got him, I got him. <laughs>